Welcome back to the end of the Sporting Sports Complex for Rain for Jamaica Premier League action on the home of champions. Of course, this is the home of Harnett Gardens. But they play in the second of the double header against Fresher Beach. But before that, Malines United face last year's beaten finalist Cavalier. Just a few moments before kickoff, and uh, the FIFA Ladies anthem. And gentlemen, please welcome the team for today's opening encounter. Players in the stadium as the team of referees. Quick march onto the field of play. Different histories, different legacies. Perhaps different hopes and expectations. But ultimately, both teams have to deliver an important performance as their hopes of progress in this competition hangs on it. For Lions United, they've escaped the relegation zone after managing to get a win in one of their recent fixtures against Montego Bay United. Cavalier United, with games in hand, sit currently seventh outside of the top six at the moment. But they know they must not take this matchup for granted as they are definitely seeking to ensure they are at the top of the table. Here are the officials who will guide the proceedings andrew hayden the man with the whistle nicholas anderson and rick Archer, the assistant and narissa golson the fourth official they have their own little chat as the sun now comes out in a greater manner but quickly the lineup for malines united of peter harrison in goal johnny flemings enrique gordon Sergini Frankson, Sergei McBean, Jeremy Nelson, Jason Wright, Javon Brown, Daniel Hardy, Steve O'Reed, Rashawn Livingston. Here are the captains. Jason Wright for Molines United. Gadeel Irving for Cavalier. Toss of coins uh, completed. And uh, there's a shifting of the order. Malines uh, choosing the side. Cavalier will have the kickoff. Let's have a quick look at the Cavalier lineup. Jaden White in goal. Richard King, Kyle Ming, Gideon Irving, Jelmaro Calvin, Adrian Reed, Dwayne Allen, Shanil Thomas. Shamar Watson, Ronaldo Barrett, the schoolboy, Christopher Ainsworth, and of course, they're coached by Rudolph Speed. Here's the head to head Cavalier beating Malines twice in their first encounter. Then again, they would have beat them last the season, 4-1 and 2-0. Of course, the prior season, 3-1 and 2-0. And Cavalier beating again Malines 4-2 in the most recent fixture. So goals, always a feature in this fixture. We definitely expect that goal mouth action. Uh, let's see if the defensive issues that some of the teams that have demonstrated will be erased. Dean Smith in commentary with me, Christopher Taylor. Andrew Hayden sends it off. Cavalier with the kick there in white with black strips or lines, you could say. Malines United in blue. 
trying to press forward is Livingston for Mullines. Take the throw in quickly. Jason Wright, the captain. Able to clear away was a Dwayne Allen, but it only comes back to the lines. They are able to recycle Jeremy Nelson going in a more defensive role in a, this particular encounter. He's on the ball, just passing it to Sergini Franks, his partner in the middle of the defense. Gordon there trying to work hard, but it's a throw in for Cavalier. Big number five defender for them, Richard King, back from Iceland. Richard King. And yet, Dwayne Atkinson back as well, but injured and unable to play. As we would have realized, but yeah, Richard King back in that three with Kyle Ming and company. A big deal for this Cavalier team, of course, back from loan in Iceland. That's Jermaine Thomas, the head coach of Mullines United. Would have won schoolboy title with McGraw. Here's a Cavalier. That cross from Ainsworth was off target. No one really there. And Malines trying to break through the press. Got a foul on the end. And uh, Nelson booting it forward. Livingston giving good chase there. And Richard, it wasn't Richard King. Here's Jason right now in the area unable to get a pass off Cavalier able to push it forward but Frankston cuts that one out easily in the end and Ricky Gordon Frankston plays it forward for Daniel Hardy Put it out for a throw in. Shanil Thomas. His touch to Ainsworth was a bit heavy. Gave up the throw as a result. That's Rudolph Sweet, technical director of Cavalier. Guided this team to the Caribbean Cup final. He lost to Robin Hood, SV Robin Hood of Suriname. But still, they managed qualification to the CONCACAF Champions Cup. And that's a big deal for Cavalier FC. Here they come through Irving. Goes all the way back to Richard King. Pass cut out, but it comes back to Irving. Tries to whip it in the area, but that's cut out by Jeremy Nelson. Frankson trying to get on the end of it, but Cavalier still has possession. Irving showed a bit, but was able to release it to Ainsworth. Has people in the box, but can't find any of them. Peter Harrison has a lot to say to Jeremy Nelson. 
perhaps some of it should be muted. <laughs> Here's Kyle Ming. King there trying that pass to Shanil Thomas. Peter Harrison was alert to the danger, had to play it out because he was really way out from his line. Adrian Reed, the schoolboy from St. George's College. Had a good time in this fixture last season, that 4 2 win. Of course, my lines have never beaten Cavalier in their history since making it into the Premier League in 2019. Seven wins for Cavalier, not even a draw. So this hasn't been a good hunting ground. This fixture hasn't been a good hunting ground for Malines. And yet their season hasn't had a great start either. And you could you, you understand the, the, the disunity between even Harrison and Nelson. They have struggled defensively, Malines. Third worst defensive record, conceding 19 goals already. And it's been something that has plagued them over the last two or three seasons. They have, for most of, for well, the two previous seasons, they have looked good going forward, my lines. But defensively, they have, they have conceded just too many goals generally. Uh, it's been a big problem for the club, which they're still trying to rectify. I, I think this season they have an added problem because goal scoring hasn't come at a premium either. <laughs> because they haven't been able to keep some of their players, Nicholas Nelson, the notable player of recent to leave. And luckily for them, they still have the services of, of, the, of Jason Wright, the captain, who was well sought out, it must be said. Here's Daniel Hardy trying to press the issue for Malines. Coming to the infraction there. King finds uh, Adrian Reed Jr. He's trying to connect with Shinny Thomas, but Jeremy Nelson able to cut it out, plays it forward. His pass a bit too much for Sajay McBean. Here's Cavalier trying to come again, but Nelson equal to the task. Here's Thomas for Cavalier. Scoops it forward, but handled well in the end by Johnny Flemings. Headed to his keeper who punts it forward, trying to find Rashawn Livingston. Goes all the way to Jadine White in goal for Cavalier. Here's King. Offside there. Ainsworth, the guilty party. Livingston, right, he gets it back, tries to attack on the left and flank now Livingston, didn't get a good foot in or a good contact on that one, went out of touch and it's a goal kick for Cavalier.
Here's Ming. Cavalier getting a lot of space to play it in their own half. Not much of a press being employed by Bolines. Still in possession is Cavalier through Reed. Finds Allen. Now releases Calvin. Out of touch. Nelson. Nelson trying to thread that one through, but it's in the possession of Cavalier through Shanil Thomas, who turns well. Nelson guilty of bringing him down. Referee on hand to see that. Cavalier continue with play. Livingston breaking up that one. Fort Mullines gets it back to Nelson. Matt Bean was trying to release Johnny Flemings, but his appeal for a kick there, unanswered by Andrew Hayden, the referee. Franks an equal to that one and Red Irving has to go all the way back to King. Goes back to Irving. Here's Ainsworth. Tries to slip pass. Shaniel Thomas. He struck the up right there. Yeah, good build-up play again by Cavalier. Uh, Chanel Thomas did score in this fixture last season, a 2-0 win. The first match against these two teams last season. Chanel Thomas was one of the scorers in that. And yeah, just two goals so far this season for Chanel Thomas. Here's Mullines. Saw the goalkeeper off his line. And that was quite ambitious, though. Yeah, from Sujay, but being there. Richard King on the ball. Has seen a lot of it. Lifts it for Ainsworth. Enrique Gordon was there to get a hand, a foot onto it, but here's Thomas now. Gets the shot off. Rudolf Swede, the technical director, confident that eventually goal scoring will return for Chenille Thomas. Had a rich vein of form in the Ca Caribbean Cup. Here's Wright. Daniel Hardy. And Ricky Gordon. Brought down by Christopher Ainsworth. Frankson tries to lift it in the area. Jaden White comes and collects well and releases Calvin. Pacey plays J Jalmaro Calvin. He's trying to find Chenil Thomas there. Just too much on that pass. Bullein trying to go the other way now. Wright and Hardy combining. McBee to Flemings. Cavalier, as expected, dominating possession, 62%. Nothing yet to 
go for all that ball dominance. King. Of course, Malign, Malign's playing with a very high line, Chris. And the ball over the top from Richard King. A consistent attempt from Cavalier to get in a goal scoring opportunity. Cavalier still in possession now. Calvin. Still Calvin trying to go by Nelson. Manages to do so. Get it across, but wasn't to Shanil Thomas. Malines able now to clear. Hard at the target, but that was cut out well by Irving. Shavar Thomas releasing that one. Watson, rather. Shavar Watson was trying to release that one to Ainsworth, but he was offside. few of the Cavalier supporters on hand. Right. Did well to control. Trying to release Livingston. Gets Hardy involved now. Good defensive work from Adrian Reed. Played it out of touch though for a corner kick. It's the first one for Malines. Yeah, good link up play between Wright and Hardy. Looking for an able partner, of course, is Jason Wright since the exit of Nicholas Nelson. And Hardy seems to be a good foil. Two goals so far, Hardy, a double. Just two weeks ago against Montego Bay in that 2 1 win. The only win that Malines have had this season. On the kick played out and Frankson trying to get back possession for more lines. Here they come. Hardy trying to lift it across. Did get a deflection on, on its way across and Jaden White was able to gobble it up. Brave goalkeeping by Jaden White. Jaden White. And actually it seemed like Livingston got the first touch because of the positioning of White, made it easy in the end. Driving back to King. King with the fall over the top once more. Charlie Flemings and... Uh, Was that Calvin trying to touch it over? Yeah. He's been in some form, Jalmaro Calvin. Antigua and Barbuda under 20 national. Five goals already this season for Calvin. The leading goal scorer for Cavalier. And he scored in what, three of the last four games. And in fact, the last televised game for Cavalier, he was a man of the match as well at Sabina Park. Here's Thomas for Cavalier. And Dean, from a Cavalier perspective and Rudolph Speed, the fact that some of, we call it the, his regular players haven't... Well. Here's Ainsworth with an opportunity. Gets the shot off. Peter Harrison did well. And Ricky Gordon should have done better the comes across and uh, that was a poor header it was calvin wasn't yeah it? it was had time calvin should have probably even controlled the ball not sure if he knew he had so much time and it was that height it was always going to be an awkward header for him this here's was Levin. an effort by ainsworth which was well saved by harrison with the left foot here's right going the other way for more lines 
trying to get by King, still right. Still has possession, does right. King fighting to regain it for Cavalier. Has dispossessed him and gets the foul, Richard King. Everybody else, he must have been smiling in a big way with the with Richard King returning, but that back line still changed yet again because no Giovanni Ling out of the squad. The word is that it's for disciplinary issues why Ling misses out. So again, Cavalier have had to go in with a change back line instead of their regular three of Ming King and Ling. You see the first Watson who was doing much of the work when Richard King was away remains in the three or to say, I was saying to you from a management perspective it must be a big deal for Cav Cavalier for Calvin to step up to the plate like this especially with the injuries to Atkinson who is coming back and and company the likes of Nicholas Hamilton as well so good to see Calvin who last season didn't get many minutes or for the last two seasons in fact so for him to come in and make a big statement like this it's great to have competition for places. It's a free kick for Cavalier. He tries to lift it in the area, but only two Lines player who played it out. Peter Harrison there down for the lines. New look, new look coaching set up for the lines after Alex Thomas who would have guarded them last season and the early part of this season was sacked by the club ownership. German Thomas and German Miller taking the reins. But Cavalier, they definitely have had the better of opportunities so far. That one slipped through for Chenille Thomas, managed to hit the upright. Another opportunity here. That Ainsworth was defending, wasn't it? Yeah. But good save by Harrison with the left foot. Was going to his right, but left his left leg out there, Harrison. And had Ainsworth put it further to the corner, who's already scored twice this season, Ainsworth, but has been in and out as well with some injuries. Back in the squad, talented left foot. But yeah, didn't quite put that into the far corner. It was a bit central and that's what gave Harrison a chance but yeah since the German German Thomas has taken over the reins of course yes we have seen a loss to Tivoli but after that a win against Mobile United their first of the season and then a draw last week as well so positive results for Malines and obviously he's making a difference yeah download the sports max app today get it on the Google Play or the Apple App Store and watch all the content available on the app. WTA Tennis, UEFA Champions League, of course, Jamaica Premier League, and so much more on the Sportsmax app. Harrison trying to lift it up, gets Hardy involved, and his touch was good. Back to Gordon. Right under pressure from King, but manages to keep possession. Still 
Mullines with the ball. Frankson. Good flick on that from right to Hardy. Gordon, his pass was wayward and Cavalier now able to build something from the back. Ainsworth on the ball. Trying to release Calvin. His pass was cut out, but he gets it right back. Gets it across to Thomas. He was offside. Flag was up for offside, but I was just wondering if Thomas would have been better off kicking that one time. The weight of the pass from Calvin was nice. Once he took a touch there, the defender was always going to close him down. Too easy, though, the way Cavalier are able to get into the 18-yard area of Malines. That ball was trying to find it right, but King was there, as well as Ming. Here's Cavalier going the other way now. Barrett to Irving, his ball to Thomas. Well, is that a penalty? I'm not sure what the decision is. But it was outside, certainly outside oh, the outside the area. Yeah, yeah. So it could be. It is a free kick. Wow. German Elsa having a lot to say as well. Very robust in the way he challenges generally. He does give away a lot of fouls and has been known to get the odd red card as well. So <laughs> has to be careful, Nelson. Sometimes loses his cool a bit too much. I will agree with him that I thought that was a bit soft. I, yeah. I didn't see much in that. And I think Cavalier are lucky to get the free kick. Richard King and Adrian Reed, the apparent candidates to strike this one from just outside the D. Just inside the D, really. Peter Harrison getting his wall ready. King over the top. And it was wide as well. Very difficult technique, especially when you're so close to 18 yard area to get it up and over the wall and back down. You almost have to dink it. And even some really top class players at the international level struggle with that technique. So not easy. A lot of times what teams opt to do is to play that first pass, a horizontal pass, lateral pass, and then somebody strikes through the wall. Yeah. But you have to dink it like that. Well. King hasn't quite missed master the technique as yet. Here's Irving. Barrett. Well read by Jeremy Nelson. Still has Barrett for company. Manages to get the throw in for Malines' favor. Here's Gordon trying to advance. His pass was too strong for Daniel Hardy.
Gordon trying to punt that one forward. Sending Jason right to chase, but he ended up fouling Kyle Ming. Going the way of Adrian Reed. Gets the return ball. That's good pass. Here's a throw in taken rather quickly but inaccurately. Ball played forward, but Harrison should be there. And he chips it forward for Frankson, whose control was lacking. Cavalier now with a throw. The 32nd minute of play. Here they come. Watson. Allen. Trying to turn McBean. Manages to get it done. Whips it across. And the header from Ainsworth was uh, directly to Peter Harrison. And the quality of chances that they've created. You'd really expect that something would have been converted already. And that should be concerning from a Cavalier perspective. And it should be concerning from a, a Lions perspective as well, how easily Cavalier have had some real quality opportunities. Yeah. Lucky so far, more lines, but as I said, this has been their Achilles over there the last couple of seasons where teams score too easily against them. Not very solid at the back, not very tight defensively. And yet, Rudolph Speed must be a bit annoyed that Cavalier haven't managed to penetrate fully just yet. But based on what this fixture has always shown, Cavalier will believe that <laughs> they, they're, they they'll always, get it done. They, yeah. They always find goals in this fixture. Six they found last season. Here's Cavalier with a great opportunity. Irving! Oh, wow. That's poor. Oh, wow. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Yeah. But sometimes strikers just have to be selfish and you understand why. Calvin to Ainsworth. Decided to go the unselfish route and play in the left back and yeah, that's the result. Irving who's still looking for his first goal of the season. And Ainsworth who has two and Calvin who, who has five decided to give up the opportunity. Didn't want to take the responsibility with the goalkeeper, Peter Harrison in no man's land and very vulnerable. Again, it was just too easy, though. Too easy. Here's Nelson. Frankson. <laughs> Lifting it forward for right, his first touch. Only brought the ball to Jaden White. Javon Brown on the ball now for more lines. Hardy was let down by that touch. Here they come now through Irving. Cavalier gets it across. Calvin! And finally, six goal for, for the season. The writing really was on the wall. They've been breaking the lines of more lines. And finally, Jalmar Calvin opens the account for Cavalier. And based on what we have seen from Alliance defensively today, this is probably just the first of many. That is what Irving is very good at. The deliveries from the left-hand side. And this one was perfectly placed. Accurate at it, accuracy at its best. And Calvin just had to place that 
underneath Peter Harrison and a half dozen on the season as he continues to score that one probably one of the easiest ones you would have converted this season they're hungry for more it seems Ainsworth working hard Calvin also there Barrett here's a Thomas he loved to break the drought gave that one away cheaply but it's still Cavalier in possession of course a win today for Cavalier would take them up to 21 points back into the top six here's Watson Gordon backing off and just allowing Watson so much space and here again but he was offside but yeah 21 points it would be for Cavalier if they execute this win 21 would be level with Arnett Gardens and Dumble Holden at the moment Dumble Holden have already played their match for this week and they have a, an even goal difference so with Cavalier plus five they would jump Dumble Holden with a victory here today Now up to plus six Cavalier, 14 goals on the season for them now. And they have the joint best defensive record, just conceding eight. They've always been a difficult team to break down, and their last two matches, one nil win. So it just proves that fact. And one of the few teams that are actually comfortable with that kind of scoreline, leading by a goal to nil and shutting out the opposition. We've seen it over the last three seasons with Cavalier. They have done it well. They have done it well, very well. <laughs> so Jim being there from a lines showing a yellow card for that challenge on the goal scorer for Caval Cavalier Jalmar Calvin. Continues his streak, Calvin, four in the last five. He scored in four of the last five matches. jumps up to joint third in the goal scoring chart to his six Nicholas Nelson and Shaquille Bradford as well as Andre Fletcher the others with six <laughs> Irving got that one. Released Thomas, whose touch gets him in the area. Thomas was able to get the shot off, but it really was at a tight angle. And Peter Harrison was there to chest it away. It's a corner kick for Cavalier. Here's a corner kick from Watson. Gordon able to boot it forward even further. King there pushing Jason right in the back. It's a foul and they're trying to get it taken quickly, or are they? Not many players forward for Malign, so. Happy to give Cavalier the opportunity to reset, apparently. Frankson. Fleming. Hardy. Turning into traffic, did Hardy. Here's a Nelson trying to release Livingston. Allen happy to play it out for a throw in for the lines. Mm. 
Here's Nelson. Trying to find Enrique Gordon, but that was cut out well by Irving. Another throw in for Mullines. You can see Richard King Marshall in the defense as well, setting the line between himself and Ming. That ball got through to Livingston. Didn't have the best first touch. Can he make something now? Tried to get the shot off, but charged down. And the studs were up on that. Attempted to get the control of the ball from the Balance player. Could have been right or no. Perhaps it, was actually, it wasn't. Yeah, it was actually Matt Bean who is on a yellow card. Had that touch from Livingston been better, he probably would have been in. Yeah. Setting a very high, well, looking to set a high line or Cavalier at times. Hence why Malines trying that ball over the top. Irving doing well there to get the header through to Ainsworth gets the return ball Irving gets it across Jeremy Nelson was there to play it away it's a throw in for Cavalier yeah but again Enrique Gordon just allowing too much space for Christopher Ainsworth in the wide areas backing off way too much yeah and as I said the, the passes are just too easy to maneuver too easy to get into the 18 yard area and luckily for them Irving's pass didn't find the foot of Calvin, who was just waiting for a tap in. Trying to get another Again, cross. Look at that. Yeah. It's been really easy, especially on that flank. Frankson and Gordon have to do better on the right hand side of their defense. Being trying to lift it forward. Again, so much space for Innsworth. Again. Releasing Thomas, he was offside though. And Thomas has no excuse, he was under no pressure. Jeremy Nelson was just waltzing over to him. So, had he been onside, he would have been able to take it, turn, and face Peter Harrison's goal, which is what Peter Harrison was quarreling about in the first minute. That why are the white shirts getting these balls so easily and unable to expose me? And from a Cavalier's pers Cavalier perspective, one goal just not good enough for this kind of defensive effort. Here they come again. Ainsworth with a shot. And the follow-up was wide as well. well. That's a crazy miss from Chanel Thomas. Unacceptable. And he's smiling about it. But that's a poor, poor finish. Into the air. Look at how much time he has. The first one is on target. And that one, he's got to be hitting the target there. The snapshot. Oh. Cavalier could have had a, about a half, do, half dozen already. Easily. And goal difference can be a big deal as the league goes on. Did say a win today would mean they would be level on points with two other teams. So. You certainly want to pay attention to that. Take your chances. And you know, the tide of football can go. Second half could be a totally different story, as Moby showed against, yeah. earlier against in this Tivoli. match week. Yeah, yeah against Tivoli. <laughs> Poor in the first half. Tivoli totally dominated. Didn't take all their chances. Scored one. And, yeah. Moby came back to win that game 2 1 and make them pay. Calvin on the ball. Did get a deflection of Jeremy Nelson, the opposite number seven. It's a corner kick.
That's the Arnett Gardens team. They're getting ready for their matchup against Treasure Beach. First time those two teams will meet in the Premier League. And look at that again. Easy opportunity for Cavalier. I think initially Andrew Hayden was signaling for a goal kick, but his assistant just brought him up to speed in terms of the deflection. It's a corner. The rightful result. What a chance yet again for Cavalier. And that's it. That's it for the first half of this encounter. Cavalier through Jelmar Calvin. Getting the go-ahead goal. But a goal is an insult to the opportunities they've created. And uh, Rudolf Speed, I'm sure, will have a, a firm talking to them. But on the op opposite end... Jermaine Thomas must have a lot to say, especially on the right hand side of the defense for Mullines. Absolutely porous, without any form of resistance. And it's really been a, a conduit for Cavalier exp exploration. At the half, Cavalier 1, Mullines 0. JPL on Sportsmax 2, Arnett Gardens versus Treasure Beach FC tonight, 7 p.m. 8 in the Eastern Caribbean. Welcome back to the Anthony Spalling Sports Complex. Malines United versus Cavalier. Cavalier courtesy of Jalmar Calvin in the 35th minute having the odd goal advantage. Getting ready for second half action now. Let's see what this second half has for us. Franks are trying to clear for more lines, but. Get a foul through. Here's Calvin. He almost stripped a possession, but still with Cavalier with Allen now. Tries to whip it across. Johnny Flemings now from Alliance. Plays it forward. Livingston, he lost possession there.
Watson there. Strong challenge against Siobhan Brown, shown the yellow card for it. Second player to be booked now. Watson, so one from each team, Matt Bean from Malines. Also trying to play that one forward, but gets the return ball now. Pulled away from the shot. Duar, the substitute who's come on, Joshua Duar. Nelson loses possession and Shanil Thomas will try to bring it forward for Cavalier. Finally, some defensive work from Enrique Gordon. Clear down for Cavalier. <laughs> Kyle Ming. another throw in for them Calvin stripped of possession there from Frankson didn't really get to clear well and that grounder will be handled easily by Harrison because we have Nelson Brown Duar now so trying to release Mac Bean in in the area now Mac Bean Gave away possession there. Here's Calvin. Not combining well with Thomas on that occasion. Here's Brown. Richard Gooden, the other substitute who has come on slipped unable to get onto that one here's Matt Bean Brown. More space for Molines in the middle. Here's Duar. He was trying to combine with the right, but his pass was cut out. Here's Shaniel Thomas now. Ainsworth manages to get it to Thomas. He was just too nonchalant there, and Harrison was alert. Here's Nelson.
interestingly only three players that Cavalier can choose from from the bench outfield players yeah amazing must have been the smallest bench we've seen this season just four players on the bench one being a keeper Injuries as well as discipline has been a struggle. Here's Thomas. In the area now, Chenil Thomas. Peter Harrison equal to the task. Again, just too easy. Thomas still had a lot of work to do. And I thought the defensive pressure is not where it needed to be at all. Look at this. Lackluster in terms of the recovery. And why was Thomas even allowed to get off the shot? Look at that from being who is on a yellow card yes but he's got to be using his body better just to force Chanel Thomas wider or at least unsettle him in terms of his balance here's a corner kick and it was a, a flick on from Calvin there nobody at the back post Livingston, Flemings, and uh, Jason Wright certainly hasn't been getting the kind of service he'd want, slipped through pass for Calvin, but Harrison was equal to that one. Here's Javon Brown. Fraxon. Mac Bean showed a lot of that one. And the card will come flashing out for Dwayne Allen. challenge in the end Franks are trying to lift it in the area Nelson from distance and uh, hasn't been cleared here is a couldn't and he didn't get the, sh the shot accurate at all <laughs> Yeah, same routine at first from Jeremy Nelson, but the ball took an awkward bounce. Almost like a rotting on a cricket pitch. Got his body behind it in the end, JD in white. Frankson combining with Livingston. Gets the corner courtesy of that deflection from Richard King. Hey! Corner wasn't taken well, but did manage to get through. Here's Duar back to Gordon. We'll try to bring it in the area again. Philip Williams is in the house, head coach at Portmore United. They have already executed well here in match four week 13. Yeah, 4 1 over Humble Lion. Yeah, what a victory that was. Of course, Humble Lion under new management now. Fassel Reynolds taking over from Andrew Price. Heavy defeat. 
Portmore and Philip Williams currently sitting in second behind Mount Pleasant. Lights coming on here at the uh, Tony Spalling Sports Complex. As it gets deeper into the evening. Maline still trailing by a single goal. Here's Nelson. And they need to be careful, Malines. Sitting just outside the relegation zone in 12th position. Just the two newly promoted teams below them, Treasure Beach and Lime Hall. Treasure Beach on seven points. And the chance to add to that against Arnett Gardens in the second match. Malines still on eight and yeah struggling here i mean only a goal in it but they haven't even seen they haven't even come come close so far to equalizing need it go ahead nelson shown yellow Here's a kick for Cavalier. Ming to Irving. Tries to bring it in the area, but played out by Duar. Matt Bean. Was fouled there. spoke about Jeremy Nelson and his mouth getting him in trouble and as you could see just a couple of minutes ago picking up a yellow card another caution on the season for Nelson so now he'll be have to be careful right first touch let him down a while ago here's Frankson trying to pick up the tempo last possession to Barrett there Was Barrett one of a few schoolboys, a part of the Cavalier setup, known for the opportunities they give youthful players? Here's Calvin trying to get it across. Nelson was on hand to play it out for a corner kick. Shanil Thomas was waiting for that delivery. Adrian Reed, another high schooler. And Xavier Gooden. And all three of them were a part of the under-17 setup last year. Failed to qualify, of course, for the under-17 World Cup. Here's a corner kick for Cavalier. Ainsworth lifts it in the area. Yes, Flemix. Trying to find right, but he's been marked out of this game. Hasn't been getting the kind of service either. Calvin. Still with the ball, Calvin gets it to Reed, who gets it in the area, but Malines able to play it out through Frankson now. I 
think that too hard. The offside flag is up. Watson charged down well. Flemings has the duty to play it out now. Rides one challenge and that being his fast cutout. Here's Barrett for Cavalier. Nelson trying to drive forward for more lines now. Here's Bart. Irving to Thomas. He was offside. And lackluster. He's just not been as sharp as you need the point man to be, Chris Taylor. Chris Flemings. Brown. Right. Back to Flemings. Gets it to McBean. Right. With a touch. Couldn't get it back to McBean and the Cavalier able to break now. Frankson goes the way of Harrison. Goes up field and right controls gets it to brown javon brown to the substitute dua gordon get a throw in for all their labors One came across, but straight into the arms of Jaden White. Nelson taking that one short to Brown managed to get it to Flemings his delivery in the box handled well by Jaden White has released Ronaldo Barrett played forward for Ainsworth so much space they had in the first half on that side of the cross wasn't a bad one so Jay McBean had to play it out for a corner kick
Shamar watching on corner duties for Cavalier. Reed. Ball did fall for Calvin. He fired over the top. Here's good. Fleming. Trying to chip it into that far, far corner, but it went wide in the end. Shading white down on the turf. Xavier Gilbert, head coach at Annick Gardens in the house, preparing for his match coming up in a short while against Treasure Beach. For the very first time, those two will be doing battle in the Premier League. Treasure Beach, of course, one of the recently promoted teams. Omar Rambo Wedderburn in charge of that unit. Here's a look at the goal of the encounter so far. Calvin getting the delivery from Irving from the left and side and made no mistake. Starting that one beyond Peter Harrison. It was all too easy on the left hand side for Cavalier in the first half. His sixth of the season, Jamaro Calvin. Alex Thomas, former Malines United coach, on hand, was at the games yesterday as well. Right to Dwar. Does manage to get it back to right. Challenge from Ming. Came off Ming and goes for a throw for Malines. 70 minutes gone in this encounter. And after that first half display from Cavalier. They've really geared it down, it seems. Ainsworth to Calvin, the goal scorer. Manages to connect back with Ainsworth. Here they come again. Ainsworth through.
it's been horrible finishing from Cavalier. Yeah, just another example. They have had so many opportunities. Some of the easiest chances they have had this season as well because Malines haven't done any defending at all, really. And to think that it's just one goal in it. Nelson. Gooden. He's trying to slip through Johnny Fleming's there, but that was well read. Covered. Still in position is Malines. But as you mentioned, slowing down, this is, as you said, Cavalier very comfortable with this score line. One goal lead. Here's Gooden. Can he make it uncomfortable for them? Gets it on target. Jaden White forced to make a good save. And Richard Gooden certainly has uh, done well having come on at the stroke of half time. Ainsworth way offside on that occasion. Ball over the top. Came to him well and he managed to get it across. Here they come again. Brown. Ball to Gordon was, wasn't the best. Keeps it in play. Nelson trying to whip it for right, but still not cleared. Calvin will come away with it now for Cavalier. Cavalier, they've had eight offsides. Slips this one through, but Peter Harrison in a fumble there. And the shot off target could have made them pay. Calvin again, wasteful. Had so much time, could have taken another touch. Waited a split moment. I mean, that wasn't even close in terms of the finish. I mean, <laughs> that was so far off target and an empty goal from that range. Could have just taken his time. There was no way Peter Harrison was going to get back in goal or any of the defenders for that note. Crystal, I think this game deserves a draw. With how wasteful Cavalier has been, I don't and think. how bad my lines have defended. <laughs> yes. We'd say quits. Yeah. <laughs> or jinx. <laughs> or squits. Squits, yes. <laughs> Harrison did come out well there. Got the return ball and played it out for a throw in. Quarter of an hour left in this encounter. Matt B. Gave it to Reed. And Reed now trying to hope for Calvin, gets it to Calvin. Thomas, but he was offside. Well, my line is trying to play with a high line, but they're definitely not organized enough to do that defensively. And it's just because Cavalier's decision making has been so bad going forward because it's been. It, it should be so easy to beat that offside trap, but yet Cavalier players are still finding themselves in an offside position, not moving. And in terms of quality, this has to go down as one of the worst games, definitely the worst game I've watched yeah. so far this season. Cavalier's finishing, and yeah, Malayan's defending. Here's Nicholas Hamilton, injured, out of the squad for today. And as you heard at halftime with Janine, they expect him back pretty, back pretty soon. Nicholas Hamilton was overseas for a while. A 
Ay, yeah. Had a pretty nice end to last season in terms of goal scoring. We certainly add a lot to this Cavalier attack. Of course, last season he was with Harborview. Here's Calvin to Ainsworth. Wow. Here's Duar connecting with right. Flemings is fast four. Ainsworth coming away with it now. Jeremy Nelson shown a second yellow for that handball. And he'll be sent off. Well, you were prophetic. You did have it earlier. Yeah, Jeremy Nelson, we've seen this so many times from him. Lack of discipline throughout the 90 minutes. And again, he's off the park. For a player so experienced, you just can't do that. You're on a yellow card. If you if you hadn't gone in the book yet, and then I could understand. But you're on a yellow card, you just can't do that. And silly on his part, now his team have to play with 10 players they are a goal down so every chance now is of Cavalier well maybe finally finishing another not working better on the finishing part Chris. but when you see Germany else getting those and have these kind of argumentative games where he's back and forth a lot of times it ends up with what you just yeah. saw unfortunately for him I think he needs to keep his head in the game right throughout Leave the peripheries alone. Just concentrate on his game because he does have quality. He's a very versatile player from the line. Yeah. He's playing at centre back this season. We played see him play that centre forward. The only thing I haven't seen him do is go in the goal. <laughs> played in defensive midfield, played in the on the wing. But now he's playing off the field. Of a few changes that Cavalier can make. Call to action. Ainsworth is now up. Perhaps he'll finish the game. Let's see. But Barrett plays this one forward. Gordon finally doing some defensive work against Thomas. But then again, there's that. Thomas Irving Irving on the ball does find Barrett who was asking for it so Watson and that one was well cut out doesn't go far enough and it's Allen in possession did well to keep it in play but not to the benefit of Malines here's Thomas to Irving across Calvin and Ainsworth with a shot Harrison doing just enough to play it out Thank you. 
situation of Dennis, a place of Russian Russian words. Corner kick lifted it high in the air. King did get the header. Allen finishes. And finally, they have the second. Good header from and it was played back in the area by Peter Harrison and Dwayne Allen made no mistake from point-blank range his first of the season Dwayne Allen former Ulmer's boy and midfielder not necessarily the cleanest strike either but it found its way to the back of the net Harrison with the initial block from the King header and yeah well not even really a celebration because they've been so wasteful Cavaliers and there will be games further on in the season where they, they need to be a lot sharper than they have been today absolutely here's another chance for Thomas well my Lions quarreling that there should have been a whistle but Chanel Thomas this time finds the finish has had so many chances early on in the game didn't take them but yeah was ready for this one it's his third of the season Chanel Thomas and now Cavalier extending the scoreline and now you see the importance of having Jeremy Nelson on the park all 11 players another assist for Gadiel Irving his second good first touch by Thomas and the second magnificent the way he placed that beyond Harrison that's the kind of quality you expect from Chanel Thomas. And this is the kind of cov the score line that Cavalier should have been displaying long ago. Long ago. Player for Moline still down on the park. And Peter Harrison still enraged that the referee didn't have a whistle on the play as there was the build-up substitution here being made by Cavalier Alex Xavier Gooden comes on for the score of the second goal Dwayne Allen Orlando Russell coming on for Christopher Ainsworth. And uh, another substitution being made. Evening goal, Vino Bartlett comes on for Jaden White. Here's a Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. The first goal of this encounter, Gadiel Irving with the delivery in the path of Jalmar and Calvin and a cool finish. Slotted it between the legs of goalkeeper Peter Harrison in goal for Malines United. Six goals of, for the season for the Antiguan. The Sportsmax app moment.
got a glimpse of Eric Edwards in the stands, part of the Arnett Gardens setup. Have a nice trip, he says. And he's <laughs> watching the app as well. <laughs> Eric Edwards enjoying the proceedings. Change being made by Malines as well. Shamara Dennis comes off. And on comes Tara Changes. Yeah. Joined the team last season midway through from Real Mona. Generally plays within the spine. Central midfield has played centre back as well, Andrews. More defensive midfielder. Well, this certainly is a performance that Malines will just need to forget and move on from. Because they have played a lot better than this. And they will need to because this kind of defensive work, if they play like this, they will be in the relegation zone pretty soon. Definitely need to turn up better defensively. Cavalier trying to come forward again, but Malayne's able to play it out for a throw in. Irving again on that left hand side. And especially in a season where they haven't been as fluent going forward in terms of their goal scoring. Last year, they were the fourth best scoring team. Mullines this season just nine goals in their first 12 matches so the loss Here's of Nicholas Gordon. Nelson has really hurt them that partnership with with Jason, Jason Wright yeah. was big for them last season I mean what was it 22 goals between the two of them just haven't had that this year and it's been a struggle but now it's highlighting their defensive issues even more. And to me, it's, it's getting worse, their defense line. Five minutes to be added on for stoppages. Here's Wright. And of course, the transfer window is open now, so opportunities. There has been talks of them bringing in players malines. sure Peter Higgins the, the chairman is, is looking at that in a big way as well as Jermaine Thomas and the rest of the coaching staff here's King for Cavalier Watson. Kyle Wing. And the schoolboy Adrian Reed. part of the highly selected team last, last season for sure that's in the Manning Cup here's Calvin trying to come forward got it through to Russell the substitute who came on can he spark some magic the header is on the header is off target 
easily he could have had four goals. Discussion for man of the match, Chris Taylor. Richard King certainly has had a good game defensively. But two assists for Kadela Irving. Also off note. Yeah, pretty solid defensive effort from Cavalier all round. Not that they have really been tested heavily. But yeah, Richard King and Kyle Ming up to their usual best good duties King driving forward as well but yeah probably as I said Irving who has been solid defensively as well pretty solid had those two really good moments two nice deliveries had more deliveries that probably should have been capitalized on as well yeah and yeah he might just be ahead of them with those two assists in a game that has lacked quality Irving if you're, if you're really honest about it should have probably had a goal as well when he was teed up nicely in that first half didn't convert but I think overall, yeah, it's a fair point that Irving with his two assists in, in this kind of game would probably just have notched it. And especially because he's a, he's a part of that defensive unit in the wide area. All step forward for Calvin. Spinning away from some players, but goes into traffic. Here's Mullines trying to come away through Gooden. King again. Harrison equal to the task after Gerald Irving is trying to latch onto that one. The final whistle from Andrew Hayden. Cavalier three, Mullines nil. What a game that, in a game that has really lacked the kind of quality in the final third from a Cavalier perspective. And in the defensive segment of the park for Mullines, woefully inadequate. They've managed to get three goals, one from Shanil Thomas, one from Dwayne Allen. And one from Jalmaro Calvin. Cavalier move forward in the table. 21 points now. And Mullines stay at this moment just outside the relegation mo uh, zone. On eight points, Cavalier now fifth in the table. Confirmation of full-time score. Cavalier 3, Malines United 0. Afternoon kickoff in the sunshine of Kingston. And uh, they were really shining in getting attempts. Cavalier, that one from Shanil Thomas off the upright. They would continue to come forward. Here's Christopher... Ainsworth getting an opportunity and he fired, but Peter Harrison using his legs well. Another delivery. Delmara Calvin unable to get a firm contact to it. They were really wasteful in front of goal. This one came to Ainsworth, headed it directly in the hands of the competent Harrison. Here they were really playing around with it. Calvin to Ainsworth to Irving to the Advertisers board beyond the goal. The game would change though as Irving delivered a beautiful pass to
Calvin and he slotted home his sixth of the season. The Caribbean national, the man from Antigua and Barbuda, Chalmara, Chalmara Calvin. That was uh, the only goal in the first half, though there were some other opportunities. Shanil Thomas striking the ball to the chest of Peter Harrison. And here again, Ainsworth getting it across. Thomas on two attempts, unable to breach. The goalkeeper had a smile about it. Not sure he should have been smiling, should have converted this one as well. Harrison did well. An opportunity, an odd one. Richard Gooden getting that ball from Harrison. Forcing a save out of Jaden White in goal. Game would change again in the negative. A second yellow card for Jeremy Nelson. That time for a hand ball. And he was sent off. Beautiful delivery from the corner. King with the header. And a fourth clearance from Peter Harrison back in the area. Dwayne Allen wasn't the best of strikes, but it did just enough to beat the goal line. His first of the season, Dwayne Allen. Second of the game for Cavalier. This one came to Thomas and he delivered finally. His third of the season. Daniel Thomas, who had such great form in the Caribbean Championships for Cavalier, showing he has it in the Jamaica Premier League as well. Domination by Cavalier as they continue to beat Malines in the Premier League, their eighth win in this matchup. Here's the statistics two shots from four times from a line on target, 13 from 25 from Cavalier. Some 20 fouls, 12 for Malines, and three yellow cards and the red card. They had two yellow cards for Cavalier. There were nine offsides. They really needed to do better in watching the lines. They had six corners that Cavalier to Malines is two. Ten saves made by Peter Harrison, only two made by Jaden White and Cavalier. 56% of the possession, a clean sheet, and three goals to go fifth in the table. Gadiel, another clean sheet for Cavalier. Not the smoothest performance for the team, but you must be proud of your two assists. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of my two assists. And how do you enjoy playing in those wide ears as well? Yeah, yeah. And talk to me about that chance you got in the first half. You were teed up nicely from, was it Christopher Ainsworth? Um, you went for power. Was that the right decision? No, no, definitely not the right decision. And what goals have you set yourself for this season? I want to finish with five goals and about 13 assists. 13 assists yeah. and you're well on your way how many do you have now three excellent stuff congrats on your performance Gadiel and we look forward to seeing more work from you this season yeah, thank you Gadiel Irving there man of the match for today two assists for this Cavalier team and they came away with yet another clean sheet Jermaine Thomas with me now Jermaine not only the loss I mean obviously disappointed about the 3-0 the loss but it's the matter in the way in which you played was was disappointing today yeah, I thought we started off slow. We were really, really flat. Um, very, very awful in, in, in the final third. We kept on turning over the ball. And then Cavalier sat deep. And then in transition, they catch us a couple of times. But we were in it. We were in it. And I think we are just a little bit in discipline. And they really showed us off today. And how important is discipline as well? Because obviously, I mean, Cavalier were wasteful. But just one goal in it. And then you go down to 10 players. A senior player like Jeremy Nelson. I, I think we made some tactical switches second half. And um, we kind of match up man v man with Cavaliers and so they started going long. And then we're coming into the game and then Nello, you know. But football, nature of it, really, really sad sometimes, but it's football. This is a big, big month for Malines as well because the transfer market is open. Um, how are you looking to do business there? Well, we've been looking, we've been looking and, and we have managed to, to keep one or two players and we'll be adding to the squad because we definitely need some quality players who can come on and really make a difference. But guess what? They have been playing well for the last three games. You know, This one would have been probably, you know, but we're not going to knock them because we still have one entire round to go. So we are in for it. Keep up the big work, Jeremy, and we look forward to more stuff from the lines. 
tricky position for you, but we look forward to better performances. Yeah, man. Thanks much. Jermaine Thomas there, head coach at Mullines. A disappointing game for them today. Not managing to, to score a goal and conceding three as well. Rudolph Speed comes into picture. Well, Rudolph, three clean sheets in a row from that perspective. Um, you must be happy with the consistency. Oh, yeah, that's the most pleasing thing of the last couple of games that we have played. We have only conceded once in four games. Very good. Before that, we had conceded one goal in the last ten matches. So it's a good direction. If you didn't watch the match and you just saw the scoreline, you would think, oh, wow, flawless performance from Cavalier. But you must be a bit concerned at the wastefulness of, 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 of your strikers. So many chances. Oh, definitely. Um, it's two things. One, because of the reintroduction of King, who is a ball player, we spend more time with the ball. And two, when we get the chances, then probably they were so easy, um, players didn't know what to do with them. Yes, I'm worried because in other games, this, each one of those chances could have been the only chance we get and we need to put it away. Yeah, but as, from, a, from a positive perspective, as you say, creating so many chances and still with key players being out. As you said, you have injuries, the Atkinson being out, Hamilton as well. Um, Giovanni Leng not playing today, so with those senior players still to come, it's, it's still a pleasing fact that you're still garnering three points every week. Oh yes, um, and it will take some time to integrate them because as, as I said, it's not really players we play with, it's really a system. So they have to be integrated and come in and play how we want them to play. But yeah, it's a good feeling now, back in the top six, and that's what we're working for. Congrats on that, in the playoff spots, which is where you want to be or where you're used to being. Yes. All the best. All right, thank you. Confirmation of the full-time score, Cavalier 3, Mullines United nil. Match week 13, Cavalier move to 5th in the table. That's where we're wrapping up for the first of the two double, double, of the double header here at the Anthony Sporting Sports Complex.